Are you battling to conceive? Have you even had a few rounds of failed IVF? Well, I'm here today to share why I know IVF would never have worked for me. I had some issues I needed to sort out before any fertility treatment was ever going to work. And when I say issues, I don't mean physical issues. I'm Kelly, I'm a fertility coach and it's awesome to have you here. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, ring the bell so that you're alerted every time I release some more videos on fertility, getting you pregnant and talking about all the things that I believe the industry is not talking about that couples should know in order to get to their babies. So this was me in January of 2017. We had been trying to conceive a baby for three years yet nothing was working. Doctors had explained that it was unexplained infertility and we couldn't find a reason why. I'd cycled through every single physical plane, supplement, acupuncture, Chinese medicine. Um, I'd done headstands after sex. I'd bathed in sacred mud. But little did I know that I was only actually working on the physical plane. One evening I went to a yoga class and I lay there and something came over me that made me say I needed to ask this teacher for help. So after the class I very sheepishly walked up to her and said to her um, could I perhaps come and meet with her. She was a massage therapist. So I arrived at her practice one afternoon and I said to her I'm really battling to have a baby and I've got this feeling I need to ask you for help. Well. That was the beginning of me realizing that there was more than just the physical plane when it came to fertility. She said to me, how do you feel about having a baby? And as she asked me that question, I just realized how much fear I was actually holding. I had so much fear in my heart about conceiving a child, which I didn't even know. Here's what I learned. When I unpacked that fear, I realized that that fear was actually sitting in two big areas of my life. The first area was my career. I genuinely was terrified of losing my career. I wasn't scared of having a baby as much as I was scared of what that baby would represent in my life. The sacrifices I was going to have to make, the fact that I would have to stop working for a period of time. All of this really scared me. What if everybody forgot who I was? I was a pretty well known and pretty effective dietitian in the world and yet I knew that a baby would mean maternity leave and maternity leave would be months away from my practice, my work and the world. So losing my identity was one of the biggest fears I was holding that was very much intertwined in my fertility space. My second fear was the fear of the pressure I was going to be put on by our fa various family members. Both me and my husband are the oldest children in our family and we were going to be bringing in the prodigal first grandchild terrifying so much pressure so much expectation and that really scared me as well I had to face these fears I had to unpack them I had to get my nervous system to know that these fears were things that I had already prepared for things that I had steps in place that would allow this fertility journey to continue and for me to get to my baby and this is how I got there and this is why I believe that IVF would never have worked for me had I not worked through this fear. After three years of zero pregnancy tests, it took me six weeks and I was pregnant. I only ever had one pregnancy test, positive pregnancy test, and that is my little girl, Sela, today. I am a massive believer that this work needs to be discussed with every single couple battling to conceive. That's why I created the Inner Work Facility course, my digital course that's available below, uh, and why I feel so strongly about the industry needing to talk about the head and the heart or the mindset or the neural programming and the emotional blocks of couples navigating the fertility industry. Cycling couples through IVF after IVF without discussing things that were very clearly the blocks in my case is unfair, it's a waste of money, and it's actually just so traumatic for the couple. If you're wondering if fear could be something that's holding you back on one of the planes of fertility, download my free ebook below. It's entitled, Are You a High Achieving Woman Battling to Conceive? Or reach out, connect with me. I would love to walk this journey with you. I would love to help you unblock or release the fear that could potentially be holding you back from getting to your baby. 
If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell so that you're notified every time I release a new video on fertility and the things that no one is talking about on this journey. These topics need to be discussed with clients embarking on all fertility journeys as well as those just trying to conceive naturally.